As protests about the killing of George Floyd continue around the world, there's a spotlight on the police using force. The NYPD is investigating after a 16-year-old boy was allegedly stun-gunned and assaulted during a night of vandalism in the Bronx last week. Also under investigation is the case of a man who says he was blinded in one eye after being tased in the face during an arrest in Brooklyn. And in Ohio, a woman died after being tear gassed and pepper sprayed during a protest in Columbus. I caught up with civil rights activist, Reverend Kevin McCall, who had this to say. I'm not saying that the police should take away any non-lethal weaponry that they have. What I'm saying is that they should not use tasers to tase someone in their face. What is police policy on using these methods? We thought we'd bring in an expert. Joining me now, my friend Pat Colligan, who is the president of the New Jersey State Policemen's Benevolent Association. Pat, welcome back to Chasing News. Thanks for having me on, Bill. Let's talk about the 16-year-old in the Bronx. He's accused and was arrested for trying to light a fire on a pile of garbage, so was, was partaking in what was happening. At what point will police deploy and use force? In New Jersey, we have the use of force continuum, right? You can only go one level above the force that's being presented to you. So if somebody points a gun at you, your use of force is immediately deadly force. It's, it's you can respond with a gun. A taser, no matter what state it is, I can say that a taser and pepper spray are less lethal force. Do you think that the trend with all this scrutiny on the use of force, is this going to make it uh, more difficult for police officers to do their job? And do you think it's possible that uh, some real criminals are going to get away with more? Look, these last couple of weeks have certainly changed policing profoundly. But you watch some of the, the cases, like you look at Seattle, they want the officers to get rid of their guns and their riot shields. So we are seeing the whole broad spectrum that conversation is happening throughout the country. In New Jersey specifically, we are the 47th, ranked 47th in law enforcement deaths. 47. I hope that less than lethal means don't get taken away from us. There's nothing about use of force that's pretty but it gives us a chance to effect an arrest without deadly force. Thank you, Pat. Always good to talk to you. Appreciate it. Bill. Thanks.